Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your September 14 and 15 reading for Aries. The boss, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. For Aries, September 14 and 15. What is the message? We're going to get one of these for Aries. September 14 and 15 for Aries. What's the message? Okay. Okay. Damn, we got poverty. Okay. And message of concern. Oh, yikes. Okay. High honor and mature woman. So there's some kind of message about money or you could be worried about money. Or this could be a sudden bill that's coming in or something just hits all of a sudden. You're like, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting this or... Or something is just going to, yeah, I feel like, okay, let's see. What's the best thing here for Aries, the boss? Aries, all right. September 14 and 15 for Aries. All right, clarify this poverty with message of concern for Aries. Poverty with message of concern. All right, there it is. We have healthy choices, making healthy choices and loving life. Um, Self-love, self-care, and being happier. So health is, okay, so this could be about your health. This message of concern could be about, about your health. Maybe you need to change something. Maybe you need to change the way you eat or something here. Yeah, what is this? Okay. So this is about making healthy choices in love and in your life. This could be as far as your money. So maybe you're realizing you need to make better choices in money or you need to practice self-love, self-care. You want to you want to change something. Something's not enough money. So if even if you're not broke, you know that you need to change something. You need to make healthier choices. Maybe in, in the way you eat your everyday life to bring more abundance in. This could be in your eating habits and, and maybe um, um, whatever. I feel like spiritual growth here is what I'm hearing. So making healthy choices in love and life. So you want to make healthier choices now in love areas in your life. You you want to practice more self-love, more self-care, and you want to be happier. So this could be you you want another job. Yeah, not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person boundary. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Give me two more for Aries, okay? Yeah. So um yeah, we have outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over. So you need to change. Yeah, something's outdated. The way you're doing something, the resume, the way you're living, you're eating, or whatever this could be. Okay, Aries? Hold on. All right, Aries. All right, we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Okay, so so you could be worried. Maybe things weren't working out in the work situations or job situations, or maybe your money's been a little low. But I feel like something's going, something, some message or something's going to come in here. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive persistence, working on it. So, yeah, not enough. So something is not enough. Okay, give me one more for Aries. It says the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. So it's time to adapt or change or accept these changes that's happening in your life. The sword and rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So something's coming to light. Yeah, love call. Someone expresses love, a message um, of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And the grim reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So something could be ending here, something kind of secret or something could be being revealed. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Go to bear self-observed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. Love, love bombing. Okay. I feel like somebody could be calling and revealing something here or saying something. Somebody could be trying to sabotage because we have the hammer card sabotage. Something that you're trying to rebuild or somebody could be doing something here. So there's going to be a message that concerns you or someone else you're dealing with. All right, Aries, let's see what this is for you. September 14 and 15. So something's outdated and something has changed. You need to redo something. Outdated is played out or it's old, okay? This could be an actual cassette or anything. Let's see. What is this for Aries? The body of so many lives in Venus and North Node. Aries. The ball, summer rising Venus, no. For Aries, the ball, September 14 and 15. What is this 
for Aries, okay? All right. So I see you uh, moving. Yeah. Okay. So with that hammer card, so the star, the fool card, okay. Five of Swords, Two of Wands, okay. Knight of Wands in reverse. So no more wanting to play mind games or be a player here. You want to be honest and straightforward here, okay. So this could be, yeah, the chariot. Moving ahead or traveling, Cancer and Taurus energy here. You could be defending this connection, this relationship. What's the, what's the, or something, what's the, uh, the Hierophant and the Seven of Wands? Maybe you're deciding, yeah, there could be, have been some lying or cheating going on here. Maybe you're deciding to walk away or someone else is because it says the sword and rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So someone's protected. Like something's going to be revealed here. And this is going to have you, yeah, the tower is here. Something's coming out. That's that sword and rose. And then we have healthy choices, healing. Um, no, where's the other card? Yeah, dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. But I saw the star card. So someone's going to come out to the light, but I feel like it's going to be healed. Possibly, yeah, this could be about a third party that somebody was hiding or that you were Aries. You could have Cancer highly aspected because we have the chariot here twice. You could have Taurus highly aspected. But someone's going, something's going to be revealed about this friend, this secret, this lie, this third party. Something is coming out or something has come out. And that's what this is. I feel like a truth is coming out. Um, just period. And I feel like somebody's going to want to read. Yeah, the half faith, the love call. It says half faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation. Be yeah, something's going to be take come by surprise here. Okay, someone's just yeah. I don't know. All right. So what is this? What's the tower? The moon? Yeah, I feel like whatever with this. Yeah, the lovers, the secret lover, Gemini, Taurus. Uh, uh, Gemini, Taurus, Cancer, and Scorpio energy here. So is Aries, okay? Yeah. If you were trying to create illusions or confusions around the third party, someone's going to know about it. It's going to be revealed. I'm getting you know that. Okay. Yeah. What's the moon, the tower? And I see, I seen the magician. All right. So this is something about a third party, something about some kind of messages or invitations or love messages going back and forth or something that somebody was doing here. Someone can't get this out of their head or something can't, somebody can't get over what happened here. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over it in your head. Okay, healthy choices. So now somebody wants to make healthy choices. They want to to uh, rebuild this. I feel like whatever this third party or whatever this energy, or this could be because somebody's in poverty. We have the hermit. could be Virgo energy here. All right, let's see what this is. What's, what is the lovers about the sex paid or this, whatever the fuck this was. What is the lovers with the tower, the three of cups and the moon? Yeah, justice, karma, Libra energy. I feel like somebody's karma is that they're going to be blocked here or that they're going to be, their money's going to be affected because someone's lying, but it's going to be revealed here. Somebody with you, your love call. Okay. Yep. And the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Okay. Um, grow, transform your life. Love. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. The sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity. So somebody could see texts or emails between two people or something like that. Okay, you have sunglasses, looking, stalking, watching, gaslighting, and then the snake. Yeah, and then it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So there, this could be the other woman watching and stalking you, somebody that you dated or ended things with. Someone's going to call and reveal something here. I feel like it's to be jealous. Yeah, it says acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Somebody got abandoned or cut off here. Okay, and there's separation, um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, healing heart. So there's going to be a breakup here because of something that's coming out. Somebody wants to heal it, but the other person is like, no, this is over. There's no check second chances, especially because how something is being revealed. I feel like it's going to be revealed online or made public. Yeah, the, the justice, there's going to be karma here. Yeah, for whatever this is. Or, or whatever this is that happened or whatever the, the, the fuck this is. I told you, yeah, judgment. 
Something's going to be exposed online. Something's going to be revealed. All right. Or this is you. What, what is this? What's the judgment tower? Yeah, I'm also getting judgment in the tower. Yeah. Yeah, the will of fortune. The tables are going to turn here. The, sub, the tables are going to turn regarding somebody's fortune as well. Yeah, the page of cups. What is the what is the will of fortune? Ten of pentacles. This could also be lottery winnings for you. What's the will of fortune in the ten of pentacles? Okay. Yeah, I'm getting like a, a spell. What's the magic? What's the will of fortune in the ten of pentacles? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and we have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords. So there's a third. The Queen of Wands is a very vicious person. Someone's very jealous. Yep, Three of Swords and the Devil. Someone's very angry, very upset, very vindictive, or this is you. So they're going to announce something or say something. This hasn't happened yet. It's going to or it's, or it ha it's going happening now or it's going to in the future. I also feel like somebody is being wicked, trying to cause some kind of ending. Somebody's upset, mad as fuck with the devil, queen of wands in reverse. Could be a Capricorn. What is the queen of wands? Yeah, the queen of pentacles is here. So there's a marriage or a commitment or a relationship. So this is third party. Yeah, this is this is coming out, man. What is the queen of wands reversed with the devil and the, and the fucking yeah, the hermit? Could be a Virgo. In the five of pentacles. Uh, three of swords is a huge betrayal, a huge lie, a third party. Somebody got ghosted or cut off or excommunicated here. And it's dead and it's done. Yeah, somebody got left on red or, or yeah, the seven of swords. Somebody got left hanging because somebody was lying or or somebody was doing something here. Okay, yeah, the page of wands and the high priestess, six of wands, ace of wands. Somebody was having sex or sexting or very attracted to somebody online and they were flirting or doing whatever this is or, or, or making plans to meet up or do whatever. I feel like somebody... Somebody was playing. Somebody was playing games, and they think somebody don't know about it, and they're going to know here. Yeah, this is going to be over. Yeah, the five of wands in the reverse. The ten of cups, ace of pentacles. So now somebody sees happiness. Somebody is there. Leo, someone's loyal. Yeah, the death card in the world is over. If this was a third party or any com somebody was putting you in a competitive position, or you were doing this. I'm getting that's over. The conflict and the drama, the shit is, yeah, somebody, somebody is, or something, yeah, this is jealousy or competition. Someone's very angry here. Somebody feels defeated or like they, or, or, or something like that. Yeah, the Eight of Cups walking away. I'm getting you walked away from a situation or you walked away. Somebody's very toxic and devilish. What is this Queen of Wands reversed with the devil, the moon, and the tower? What is this person doing? The devil, the moon, and the tower? Okay. The ace of wands is here in the reverse. The temperance in reverse. Wow. That's chaos magic. Okay. Somebody could be doing sex magic. Uh, trying to keep two people from having sex. Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah. That this is the mistress of the... Because the queen of pentacles is here. The queen of wands are, and the high priestess is somebody... Is, is the mistress. Yeah. Or something is a secret or somebody was hiding secrets. This could be somebody like a really witchy type energy. What what is the um yeah, what is the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups? I feel like somebody, yeah, the Two of Cups. So this is where this is who somebody loves here. This is the relationship that somebody's in. Somebody's like upset. So the ten percent reverse is like I'm I'm angry as fuck. Yeah, somebody's watching and they're mad. They're, they're, they could be gossiping, spreading. Yeah, somebody wants to, somebody is going to uh, expose something just to, yeah, the four of wands. You're, yeah, somebody's like watch, watching your relationship. Yeah, the, the sun card in, um, 
and the four of wands yeah the four somebody feels like they got released and that you're happy you moved on you chose the person that you want to be with or that you're in love with or you're committing to yeah you have this new love yeah with the empress you have you you have somebody here yeah and now I open the deck in the emperor wow so you're with your divine counterpart twin flame Somebody is like seeing this on TV or online. Yep, seven of cups, eight of wands. Someone's annoyed, nine of wands. Yeah, the nine of pentacles could be a Virgo. Or it could be, it could be anybody. But someone's going to reveal something out of hate or anger with the five of wands. Somebody feels defeated or somebody feels, um, somebody's feeling like in a hateful, okay, what is this? Yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, the nine of swords, uh-oh. Yeah, I feel like somebody's worried, or you are, or somebody is, but somebody is uh uh is going to yeah. Somebody's worried about something here, something being revealed, or something coming out here. Somebody's like stressed out, losing their shit. Okay, or this is you. But I see a connection here, a love. What is the Two of Cups, Four of Wands, or healing? Yeah, working on something. Yeah, the Five of Swords. There's a bit of jealousy here, okay, about a truth or about something that's coming out here. What is the? Uh, what is this? I definitely get that somebody's. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So that's the energy of jealousy. Somebody wants to commit, or somebody feels like yeah, someone's trying to sabotage or trap someone. Or somebody tried to, but it's not going to work. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, yeah. This is definitely some third-party shit, okay? All right, so let's see. But something's being revealed here, all right? Somebody feels used or thrown to the side or they're on some kind of shit. What's the messages here for, uh, who is this? For Aries. Sun. Otherwise, it will with snow, Aries and all signs. Aries and all signs. Yeah, there goes that five of wands again. Conflict, chaos, competition, jealousy. What is this for Aries and all signs? So someone's going to reach out to you, Aries, or someone's going to be, or you're going to reach out to someone or whoever the fuck this is. Because somebody's jealous or they see this connection or this love. I feel like it just is annoying somebody because you're happy or you're doing your thing or you turned your back yeah somebody is definitely manipulating energy here or somebody tried to have you on the spell it didn't work okay or it broke yeah somebody's doing work on you okay or this is you all right so if you're dealing with an aries like yourself Okay, the moon, the three of wands, and the high of five. Somebody here is got, this could be in a commitment, but they got somebody at a distance that they're keeping a secret or online or something like that. Okay, yeah. All right. Oh, this card is, Knight of Swords could be an omen because this card is in that deck. Yeah, the um, yeah, the seven of swords, ace of pentacles, the star, and the ace of wands, the devil. Yeah, somebody's lying about whoever this was online or whatever this is. Okay, somebody's lying about it, all right? Somebody's keeping someone at a distance, a secret. Okay, we have, if you're dealing with a Taurus, the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Star. So somebody is trying to steal an opportunity from you. They're trying to swindle you. Could be an Aquarius. We have Cancer Taurus for the Aries one, and then now we're on Taurus. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, it could be an Aquarius. Somebody's definitely, like a bit jealous they're trying to steal an opportunity away from you or this is you okay so it's trying to swindle you okay if you're dealing with a gemini the devil ace of wands page of wands i'm getting somebody's very attractive here or someone's very attracted to you it could be a capricorn okay but i feel like it's just sexual somebody wants sex or somebody's just attracted to your to your photos or something like that okay what is the uh what is this yeah okay and the justice yeah so i feel like uh you're you're, you're attracted here to someone someone's photos or pictures or something like that okay if you're dealing with the gemini if you're dealing with a cancer we have the nine of pentacles the justice and the page of swords okay so there's somebody you're watching. It could be a Libra. Somebody you're watching or somebody that's watching you. Somebody wants to apologize or um, 
something, somebody may be reaching out or wanting to reach out, wanting to reconcile with you, watching you. They can see that you're very single here and that you're on your shit and you ain't playing no fucking games. It's come correct. I ain't with the lies, the bullshit. I'm independent, self-sufficient. I don't fucking need you. If you're going to play games, then I'm fucking done. Okay, if you're dealing with a cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, King of Swords, the Death and the Ten of Wands, this is over. Okay, something's too much of a burden or you or, or you just want something to be over with. Someone's very cold or uh, something like that, okay? If you're dealing with a Virgo, Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Four of Cups. So this is somebody online. So this is DM, text messages. Yeah, the Knight of Swords is here twice. So I feel like somebody's angry. Somebody, it's like somebody's attacking you online or somebody's angry, but you don't care. Or you're ignoring it or you are you or whatever. Yeah, the tower. I'm definitely getting like something is going to be exposed online. Scorpio energy. If you're dealing with a Virgo, if you're dealing with a Libra, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, wow, and the Will of Fortune, wow. This is your divine counterpart. You're destined to be with this person. This is marriage. This is a very financially abundant relationship as well. This is destiny. This is, yeah, the empress. This is meant to be like this. I'm getting a Libra, your divine counterpart. Somebody, that, yeah, the ten. Oh my God. If you're dealing with this person, if you're dealing with a Libra, Aries, you're going to marry this person. This is the person, yeah, judgment that you're called to be with, that you're destined to be with. You're going to be, this is going to, and you're going to have a very abundant relationship. You both are going to be millionaires here. This is your destiny. You, you you may even share similar birth charts. This could be a twin flame. But if you're dealing with a Libra, this is who you're going to be with here. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Judgment, Five of Swords, and the King of Cups. I feel like somebody's going to announce something out loud to get back at you. Somebody is trying to play games or emotionally manipulate you. And maybe you... Don't give a fuck or you walked away, so they're going to try to embarrass you. So we got that in Virgo, too. So something about uh, a public announcement or something like that. Okay, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This is going well. Somebody wants to date you or offer you something. Somebody wants to be generous here. Okay, somebody's giving to you or you're giving to them. Okay, this could also be an offer to go listen to, like, music or something like that. If you're dealing with a uh, Capricorn... Okay, if you're dealing with the Capricorn, this person is thinking a lot about you. They're going to take a loop of faith to communicate with you. This could be somebody that you're working with, or this could be, or you're waiting on someone to come back. Somebody that you, you used to work with, or somebody that um, you you wait to see. You're waiting for them to come back. So this could be some kind of public place that you visit. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, okay, the King of Wands, Six of Cups. And the magician. This person is uh, manifesting you back in here. Um, it could be a, a Aries like yourself, but someone's manifesting you. Somebody's very attracted to you. Somebody wants to come back in from the past. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Five of Cups, Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. Pisces, yeah, this Pisces is missing you. They want to apologize. Okay. Letter B, J. Somebody wants to apologize here, or or set the yeah the the ten of swords. This is somebody you excommunicated, or you pulled your energy away that you that you want nothing to do with. They want to apologize. Okay, the ten of swords is excommunicated. Something ending abruptly. You, you're very closed off. This person wants to say sorry to you. They. They apologize or they regret this or something. Yeah, the emperor. So this could be a father. Yeah, the seven of wands. I'm getting this is you, Ari. You set strong boundaries. The emperor and the seven of wands. And you moved on, chariot, and the world is over for you. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to talk about it or none of that shit. Okay, you just don't trust it at all. Yeah, you just don't trust it. Yeah. This is somebody you ghosted or excommunicated. And the Eight of Pentacles is your overall energy. So working work or a new opportunity or promotion, work. Focus on your work and your career. Yeah, the four of wands or or your relationship. Yeah, the emperor, your empire, or your marriage or your work, or all three of those things. Okay. So yeah, this is beautiful. So those are your messages here. Um, Aries, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow.